we saw this pattern in Broward County where the school district was brushing under the rug more and more serious crimes, including robbery, burglary, and assault. I mean, these were not petty crimes. This was not, like I said in the introduction, a kid caught smoking weed under the bleachers by the football field. These were crimes that hurt other people. These were crimes that violated the rights of other people. And it, it gets to a point to me where when the school district is not willing to acknowledge that and report that to police, the, some of the blood is on their hands when people actually get hurt. Well, what's really unfortunate is a lot of parents, A, don't even know about these investigations. Most of them are still secret. Most of them are still happening behind closed doors. So we don't actually know all the districts that were investigated and therefore have implemented these kinds of policies. Um, so parents don't even know. And then when they do find out, like the, the uh, mother that I interviewed from Baltimore County, who's, whose children have had a horrific experience with these policies, and she as a mother has had a horrific experience with the school system in Baltimore County trying to get justice for her kids um, in the school, these parents, oftentimes, if you're not wealthy and you don't, either not able to withdraw your kids and send them to a private school, you have no options, which is why it's so important. Conservatives have put school choice on the back burner for way too long. There are a lot of elements in the school system that conservatives and even just, you know, people who are moderate or center of the road or apolitical would not agree with. Some of the values, some of the discipline policies, all kinds of things about the public schools are increasingly out of the mainstream and run by a, a progressive left agenda. And it's completely wrong that conservatives don't look at school choice as a really important way to empower parents to then not only to have the power to leave the school, if that's what they think is best for their children, but even if they don't leave the school, you have a lot more power. If you're walking in to talk to the principal or the administrator and you have the power to take your $10,000, $12,000, $15,000 that you as a taxpayer are paying to the school to educate your child, to take that money and walk. That's really the only thing that's gonna realign the incentives here.